So we're going to talk about vectors and applications of navigation. So we're going back to bearing, which we've talked about a couple of times. Um, okay, so a ship leaves a port, leaves port on a bearing of 27 degrees and travels 62.4 miles, and then the ship turns due east and travels 85.2 miles. So how far is the ship from the port and what is its bearing from the port? So I actually think if you have vectors with this and, and with everything that we know about trig now, these problems actually get a lot easier. So remember, um, we have, we're talking about a bearing with no other direction. So you have to start with just this north reference. So here's my port, here's north. So from port, I make a 27 degree angle and then I, go, I travel 62.4 miles. Boom, there you go. Then the ship turns due east and travels 85.2 miles. So what do you think that means? Well, that means I'm here and I turn east, so this way, and I go 85.2 miles. Bada bing, bada boom. And so now the question is, how far is the ship from the port? So I'm looking for this, right? This distance here, so I'll call this vector D. And so really, I want to know that. And then I also need to know the bearing from the port. So I need to know what is um, this this angle here. Okay. All right. So a um, couple of things. We effectively have like two right triangles. So if I extend and create like a whole line here, you kind of effectively get like two right triangles. And um, so because this creates this right triangle, I think you can maybe see how to approach this, right? So I will give you a big hint. Think about this triangle to start and then see if that will help you get to, let's see, I'll give you a big hint. If you can figure out some information about this triangle, what can you figure out about theta? I highly recommend that you play around with this. Try at least two things before you hit play and then hit play. Okay, so let's call this angle A. Can I find angle A? Totally, it's very easy because this is 90, this is 27 degrees, this is a right triangle. So actually it's like so straightforward, we don't even have to get any trig functions, right? So just basic subtraction, nice. And then how do I figure out what um, the theta is? Well, then that's, this is a straight line, right? So the nice thing with this is, so then I just take 180 minus 62 degrees, that's 117 degrees. There you go. Okay, now, the next thing, we want to figure out this distance here, really the magnitude. So um, notice I have a side, an angle, and a side, so I can use the law of cosine. So I think you should be able to figure, figure this out because we've talked about the law of cosines in a lot of other videos. I'd say pause, finish, hit play when you're ready. All right, so to get the magnitude of this, I take 85.2 squared, 62.4 squared, minus all of this. And so then it's just really just plug and chug. So I get that D is gonna be equal to 126.41 and that's miles. Okay, so am I done? I'm, I'm not, I'm actually not totally done because we just found this angle here. So um, we need to find the bearing from port. So we need this whole little piece in here. So um, we did need to get this other information so that we can figure this this last part. So let's, uh, let's clear, clear a little space. Okay, so I want now, I wanna figure this angle out. So, um, I have enough information now to figure out what this angle here is by using the law of sines. Of course, you know me, I'm going to suggest that you pause and do that. So, um, I can take this 126.41 over sine of 117 and then this 85.2 over the, I'll, I'll call this B now. So I can finish and solve for B. So I've got all my worth here. So then to get what the ultimate bearing is, I need to take 37 plus 27. And so now I can see that my bearing is 64 degrees from port and that distance from port is 126. Uh, you probably have to do um, just to one decimal. So 126.4 miles. And uh, okay, so that's it for this one. So consider liking this video or leaving a comment if you found it helpful. And uh, okay guys, I will see you in another video.